Aliyah University o is a state government controlled minority autonomous university in New Town, West Bengal, India. Previously known as Mohammedan College of Calcutta, it was elevated to university in 2008. It offers undergraduate and postgraduate programs in different engineering, arts, science, management, and nursing subjects. History The Aliyah University o is one of oldest modern educational institute in Asia and first in India in conical period. It was set up in October 1780 by Warren Hastings, the British Governor General of East India Company near Silda in Calcutta. A number of a name was common like Islamic College of Calcutta, Calcutta Madrasa, Calcutta Mohammedan College and Madrasa e Aliyah. Among of these name, Calcutta Mohammedan College was given by the Warren Hastings himself. The original bullying was completed in 1782 at Bow Bazaar near Silda of Calcutta. Later the college moved to its present old campus Wellesley Square in the 1820s. Initially this madrasa college taught natural philosophy, Arabic, Persian, theology and Islamic law, astronomy, grammar, logic, arithmetic, geometry, rhetoric and oratory. The Calcutta Madrasa followed different models for different subjects, like Dars Nizamiya of Firingi Mahal for Persian and Arabic, and the old peripatetic school model for the logic and philosophy. The first head preceptor of this college was Mullah Maidadan, he was a well-known personality and an erudite in Islamic learning in that time in Bengal. In 1791, Mullah Maidadan was replaced by Muhammad Ismail because of allegations of mismanagement against him. Capt Aaron, a British Army officer was appointed in 1819 as the first secretary by East India Company to take total power of administration of the madrasa and he was in the administration power up to 1842. Capt Aaron made several reforms. The first annual examination of the madrasa was held on August 15, 1827, and first medical class of India was arranged by this instituted in 1826 under Dr Breton, the professor of medicine. After ten years' successful medical classes, the administration of the madrasa decided to establish a separate medical college, Calcutta Medical College in 1836 and this medical is first medical of India until now. However, the facility to study medical subjects by the madrasa students in the Calcutta Medical College was retained. Introduction of elementary English courses was also started in college in 1826 under his administration but this English course had not to get huge success. Nawab Abdul Lutif and Wahidanabi were first English scholars from this college. Dr. Alois Sprenger was appointed as a principal for the first time in 1850 to resist the college from a current of continuing deterioration. In 1854, another reform attempt consisting of opening the Anglo-Persian department to make English as an official language under the direct control of Calcutta Madrasa College. The college failed to create enthusiasm. FA level college classes added to the Calcutta Madrasa in 1863. This reform also failed after the Dr. Alois Sprenger. Few other European principals was appointed and Ah Harley 11 was the last European principals of this madrasa. One by one failure of the reforms of Madras and after 1857, the year of the Sepoy mutiny, the British government started to see the Muslim community of the Bengal as constant suspicion. Lord Macaulay was a British Whig politician and historian, who advised the British government to introduce English education to produce to anglicised Indians. The main aim of this was to extend the British influence into vast areas of India. Then British government was decided to establish the Calcutta University in 1857. After the establishment of the Calcutta University created a precarious position for the Calcutta Madrasa, there were a number of proposals for closure to Calcutta University to British authority in India, but the authority allowed it to continue to function with only a traditional madrasa teaching Arabic and Sharia laws. Thus from the year 1857, the Calcutta Madrasa grew up as a separate stream in the education system of the Indian subcontinent. Shamsul Alema Kamaluddin Ahmed was appointed as the first Indian principal of the Calcutta Madrasa College in 1927. In this same year, the first Madrasa Education Board was established called Board of Central Madrasa Examinations for the conducting various examinations the Alim, Fazil, Kamil and Mumtazil Muhadesan. The year of 1947 in which portion of India took place was very painful in the history of the Calcutta Madras in Bengal. 
All movable properties like large numbers manuscripts and books were transferred to East Bengal now Bangladesh at Dhaka Madrasa and other things became topsy-turvy. Later in 1949 with help of Maulana Abul Kalam Azad, the Calcutta Madrasa was reopened. Now the Calcutta Madrasa was elevated to the university as the Aliyah University under West Bengal State Government Controlled Minority Autonomous University in 2008. The newly set up buildings of Aliyah University are located in Taltala, Park Circus and Rajarhat in Kolkata. The Rajarhat campus is used for science, technology students and the main office while the Park Circus campus and Taltala campus nursing and arts students, and the Islamic theology students. Now this university offers undergraduate, postgraduate and doctorates programs in different arts, science, management, engineering, nursing and Islamic theology subjects. Admission Admission to most undergraduate and postgraduate courses in Aliyah University is granted through written entrance examinations and for B.Tech programs through WBJEE. Admission to MS and PhD programs is based on a written test and a personal interview. Admission to undergraduate programs is based on merit rank of the Aliyah University Admission Test. AUAT, which consists of a written examination of multiple choice type questions MCQ, clearing of which leads to an interview and final selection of the candidate. Candidates who qualify for admission through AUAT can apply for admission to LLM, Masters of Law, B Tech, Bachelor of Technology, Integrated MBA, Master of Business Administration, MCA, Master of Computer Applications, MSc, Master of Science, and MA, Master of Arts courses in different engineering, business, science, and arts subjects. Aliyah University has also M Tech, Master of Technology program. Topic campus Aliyah University has four campuses for different types of curriculum located at Park Circus, Taltala and New Town Rajarhat. Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee of West Bengal laid the foundation stone of Aliyah University campus at Rajarhat on 15 December 2011. Later on of November 2014 Mamata Banerjee inaugurated the finished campus. New Town Campus contains 156 classrooms with a capacity of 12,000 students and houses science and technology students only. The campus also has separate boys and girls hostel currently under construction. New Town Campus also has three annexure buildings dedicated to various laboratories and a central library. The Park Circus Campus is used to house arts and nursing students, while the Taltala Campus houses the Islamic theology students and the main office. Topic Departments Topic University Library Aliyah University has three libraries in its three different campuses, all of them the library of Newtown Campus has a central library including 1.33 lakh books. Aliyah University has a library rich in collection of literature in Islamic theology, Islamic jurisprudence and law, and Arabic. The library is now diversifying in the areas of science, engineering, management science, humanities and social sciences. Notable alumni There are no reliable sources to know the notable persons with this institutes. But some well known are Nawab Abdul Latif was an educator and social worker in Bengal. Syed Amir Ali was a prominent political leader and author. Hussein Shahid Surawardi was a politician and a lawyer. Muhammad Kudrat I Kuda was an organic chemist, educationist and writer. Controversy and criticism In 2016, a series of protests by the students of the university took place on the main campus Rajarhat, New Town, against the disordering principle of the then Vice-Chancellor, Prof. Dr. Abu Talib Khan, because students were experiencing lack of books in library, lack of faculty, bad condition of lab etc. from the beginning of the university. The protest began on 8 November 2016. On 18 November 2016, students insulted their VC professor. Abu Talib Khan giving a black rose to him. 
They blockaded the main gates of the university and the students made a loud slogan. With the help of police and security guards of the university, the VC entered in his office. Students were requested by the EC members, fact finding committee, and also the minority and madrasa education minister Giasadin Mola to stop the protest and class boycotts. But students said they will continue to boycott classes until the vice chancellor resigns. See also List of oldest universities in continuous operation University of Calcutta Colleges and institutes in India List of universities in India University Grants Commission India. Education in India Ministry of Human Resource Development India.